What do you do when the USB cable you use to charge your phone or transfer data stops working? You buy another one, of course, and discard the old one. But in Kenya, the problem is often likely to recur after a few months. That dilemma led to the establishment of Totosai, a USB cable manufacturing company. Now we are at the entrance of Kenya's first USB manufacturing company. It's located in this little building about one and a half hours away from the capital. However, this little operation is sending ripples through the rest of the country. Let's go inside and see what it's about. Six people working in close quarters make up the Totosai company. Quick, nimble fingers make the work light, and the batches of finished cables pile up in the corner in a routine established when 28-year-old Anthony Mudungu started the company in March 2020. I needed uh, a USB cable to, to transfer some files from my phone to, to my laptop. And all of the cables I had in my house were six and none was working. In a bid to figure out where the problem lay, the trained physics and mathematics teacher secured 5,000 USB cables from his friends and took them apart. He noted uh, there is a certain common mistake that makes these cables not go more than three months or four months. The market had been flooded with substandard USB cables, so he and his friends decided to start making their own. In order to ensure quality, the company imports some raw materials as well as machines from the UK and China. In a day, they can churn out between 300 and 500 cables. It is a new venture, the first of its kind in the country and on the continent. Kenya has 10 million smartphone users, according to global market statistics, meaning there's a ready market for mobile phone and laptop accessories. The cables cost between two and five dollars each, almost matching the price of imported ones. In its first two weeks of operation, the company sold over 700 cables. Everyone at my house was fighting to use my new cables. They don't disconnect easily or stop working when you use them. The lessons learned here are invaluable. However, high taxes, costly materials and a demanding business environment still continue to pose a challenge. But despite the difficulties, the young innovators are determined to soldier on, to share their lessons and products with the rest of the continent, and to build on what they have started. By the start of uh, year 2023, God willing, you have started manufacturing earphones in the next room. Uh, by the start of 2025, you have started now assembling mobile phones. There are hundreds of USB cables here ready to go out into the market. And it's not just about being the first to do it. This company is now blazing a trail for other African innovators to follow. Wilkes Anyabwa, CGTN in Kenyaga, Kenya.